Hey guys, now starting off with what you need. You need two tea lights. You need glitter base filler. You need a gift box. I got this during Christmas time, so hopefully you guys have one too. You need two wine glasses, plastic wine glasses. And a plate. These you can get at the window section or also the party section. You're also gonna need flowers. I got mostly ombre mixed between pink and white and then I got some solid pink. You're also gonna need some crystals. I got this from the floral section. Now this foam pumpkin was actually something I used in a previous DIY and I just recycled it. But you can of course use a foam ball. Now what I'm doing right here is I'm plucking the flower heads off of the stem. And what I'm gonna do after that is I'm gonna just stick it into the pumpkin. Now to make it more secure, you're gonna want to probably hot glue the tips of those flowers and then stick them into the pumpkin. I mean, some of them did fall out for me, so the hot glue is a much better solution if you don't want your flowers popping out while you're working on the entire pumpkin. So you see I already started putting flowers into the pumpkin and you just stick it in there. Um, make sure it's secure, make sure you stick it in straight because sometimes it bent while it was going in and that also caused it to fly or fall back out. And I'm mostly putting the ombre flowers all around and then I'm just popping some bits of the solid pinks in there to give a more splash of color. But you can do it however you want. I don't know. I just think this way it's cuter. And then I put it in a way where I'm, I don't have the flowers spaced really close together. They're a little spaced out and I just fluff the petals. But you're going to need more than three packs. You see me using three packs in this video. But I actually needed about six just to fill all the spaces. Now don't worry about the bottom of the pumpkin because no one's going to see it. Just make sure that the bottom edge, like the rim around, it's covered with flowers because that's what's going to kind of hang over the gift box. This is how it looks when I fill like one half of the pumpkin with the six flowers. Of course, I filled the, the rest of the pumpkin, but now you see me getting the gift box and I just pop off the lid and place the pumpkin on the gift box. See, it looks super cute already. Now I'm just positioning it and kind of fluffing out the flowers a little bit. Um, if you can see a lot of the pumpkin underneath, because I painted my pumpkin, so if you can see a lot of pumpkin underneath, just pop a flower in between the spaces. Now I'm placing the gift box on the plate. After I put the gift box on the plate, I just stick the tea light into the wine glass and I just start putting the glitter balls inside of that. You just want it to kind of cover the entire sides and also a bit of the top of the tea light but you want the actual light part to be showing because once you're finished with all of that you definitely are going to want to 
turn it on and see the light. So <laughs> I can't lie, whenever I have to turn on the tea lights, I actually dump out all the balls first and then I turn on the tea light and put it back and dump the balls back on <laughs> the tea light. So if you're not gonna have the tea light on the entire time, be forewarned that you're gonna have to dump out all of this to turn on the tea light. So once I did that and filled the wine glasses with the glitter balls, I just took the remaining glitter balls, the white and pink ones, and I threw them on the plate along with some crystals. And it just is so pretty, at least I think so. It's completely up to you how many crystals you put on the plate. Um, you can definitely put even more glitter balls there as well if you buy another pack. This all came from one pack which was also mixed in some red as well. So it's up to you how many crystals, how many glitter balls you want to put on the plate. I just really like the, the addition of the crystals because it makes it look so glam. This is the finished product. I think it looks so amazing. And the spacing of the wine glasses is completely up to you. You can play around with it. You can see in this video that there are little spaces where you can see the foam of the pumpkin. That is an easy fix. You just pop in some more flowers or fluff the petals and you're good to go.